The third and final stage in the Tour de Romandie starts in Vernier, in the outskirts of Geneva, and finishes in Nyon, and travels through the wine fields of the Lake Geneva area. On paper it looks like a stage for the sprinters, but it will be heavier than it looks. Yeah, we actually did uh, our pre-race spin uh, before the first day. We did this uh, lap um, one time and it looks uh, super nice, hard. I think uh, the last lap uh, will be full gas. So uh, hopefully I can survive or anticipate in a break before and then help in the final uh, Femme and Amber. Uh, I think we always like to race aggressively and yeah, today for sure we will do the same. It will be hard for sure, but uh, we go all in for, uh, for the win. The peloton is off for their 131-kilometer race, where two hard climbs will be decisive for today. There's a lot of movement in front of the peloton, and it takes more than one hour of racing before the first break is released. Sofia Bertizzolo tries her luck, but the speed of the peloton is so high that she is unable to stay away, and soon she is back into the peloton. Then, after a group of 11 riders merge with a second group, around 30 riders is now the reduced bunch and heads towards the finish line in Nyon. It's not a quiet way to Nyon as multiple attacks see high speeds into the peloton. And as D works, has to work hard to get them all back. And one after another attack, and again, it's up to SD works to bring them back for race leader Vollering. When the speed is reduced a bit, Ricarda Bauernfeind sees an opportunity and goes solo. Again, SD works, this time in the name of Marlon Reuser, rides hard to get the German rider back into the bunch. Even Demi Vollering herself helps with the chase. Four kilometers to the finish line and Swiss rider Haberlin attacks. And this is a promising attack. She gets 15 seconds from the group, who chase her hard. But her speed is really high. However, the good work of Niedermeyer makes sure she is caught in the final two kilometers. So that means this reduced bunch is going to sprint for a victory. Into the final kilometer and multiple attacks. 300 meters and Femme van Empel feels she has good legs and starts her sprint really early. Marlon Reuser in her wheel and Liana Lippert in third position. And then, after being held up, the German Lippert has amazing speeds and overtakes the group, accelerates even more and wins the third and final stage of the Tour de Romandie. Yeah, it was a pretty big group. I hoped it was a bit smaller, so that's why I attacked and we were a really small group but nobody wanted to really collaborate. So it got bigger and bigger and yeah, my teammates did before a great job and then Paula was really the key for me also today. She she just went full gas that I don't lose my position and I just focused on myself on the sprint and I open and like I said I had to stop because I got really yeah boxed in I have to say and then I wanted it even more because I felt like I'm the strongest today so Liana Lippert wins the third and final stage of the Tour de Romandie. Femme van Empel started her sprint a bit too early but still manages to finish second on the podium. Silvia Persico finishes third. Yeah, really happy. Uh, it's a really nice race, of course, to, to have uh, on the list. And uh, yeah, special because I live in Switzerland, so it's nice to win a race in Switzerland as well. Demi Vollering wins the Tour de Romandie 2023. Kasia Nieuwedoma is second and Marlon Reuser completes the podium. Demi Vollering extends her lead in the UCI Women's World Tour leader classification. Annemiek van Vleuten and Lotte Kopecky did not race in Switzerland, but remain second and third. Shirin van Androoy did not race in Switzerland, but remains leader of the UCI Wims World Tour Young Rider classification. Gaia Realini closes in in second place, only two points behind her teammate. And Maaike van der Duin remains third. <laughs>